and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Scion. That's right, we have a donation deck here that we're going to be playing on over in Ranked, uh, combining uh, a couple cool champions, Sivir and Scion. And so this was one that I put together that, you know, asked to put together one of those, you know, a deck with these two champions. And I was trying to think of, like, you know, what to do with them, and I kind of decided to go reputation-based. All right, so we're going to want to deal five damage with our, our units, because and we want to put lots of big units in play, because, of course, we want large units to summon for Scion, and we want to do a lot of damage for Sivir. But the reason why I wanted to go reputation-based is because of Black Crow Spy. I thought it could be really cool to have Black Crow Spy uh, copy Scion. That, that, that could be pretty awesome. So that's what we're going to... Uh, try to do now um, for the reputation it's not super easy what I decided to go with is Legion Marauders right now they start as three twos but of course once it one attacks it's a four three you get multiple attack they, they can turn into five power very easily between Legion Marauders strength and numbers um, and you know that so th those can really help out your reputation we're gonna have Kato the arm that attacks for five and gives something else plus three plus zero so that could be giving like house spider plus three plus zero to make it five power treasure seeker right you can you can turn these other things into five power fairly easily and then of course you also have like kato support your leveled up sivir to give it overwhelm and then give everything overwhelm right like that's also a very good combination and then legion and the other really cool thing about legion marauders with scion is that they really you know legion marauders really want to attack well whenever scion dies you get the scion return that rallies and so that means more attacks for your legion marauders and of course another card that really wants to attack is sivir so you know maybe we can get some extra attacks with that since we're going reputation since we want to attack why not inc incisive tactician when you know reputation only costs six six mana five five and then rally you know we want more attacks let's get to it. let's you know let's get some more attacks so they all kind of seem like they work pretty well together we're gonna have a couple of sharpened resolves in here to again help things get to five power. This could um, help keep Legion Marauder alive, right? Like maybe we play Legion Marauder on round three when we have the attack token, attack with it. We could sharpen resolve, keep it alive, get an attack for five. It's also you know really good with Treasure Seeker and House Spider, buffing those things up to five power again. Um, a couple Ancient Hourglass because we really want to protect Marauder and Sivir. Like it doesn't like our deck's not gonna block very well. And so maybe they have challengers because that happens a lot. So they challenge our um, Marauder or Sivir. We want to keep it alive. We have Hourglass. But then we could also Hourglass these things. You know, Hourglass Tacticians. We can rally again. Hourglass the Scion Returned. So it can come back, it can come back the next round and you rally again. <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Those, those could be cool. All right, throw in some card draw with Preservarium and Whisper Words. Throw in some removal with Bloody Business. And you got a deck. So that's what we're going to try. Hopefully it works out. It's a bunch of cool things put together. And we'll see how it does. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. To not die. I just never get that, that one mana 2-1 to actually, you know, that becomes five power when it's blocked. I never really get that card to actually work. Okay, so we have Thralls that we're playing against. Now, we do not have any landmark removal in here. No Scorched Earths. So that's kind of rough. I think that I want to keep Strength in Numbers and send everything else back. I could see keeping Bloody Business also, but I kind of want to start off a little earlier. Think about playing the Strength in Numbers round five. Cool, cool. All right, we got Marauder and Hourglass to protect Marauder. We do not have the attack token round three, unfortunately. Definitely wish we did. A dark cloud on the horizon. We can even make another Marauder with Black Rose Spies. That can the happen also. That's very bad. Very, very bad. Well, that would have been nice to have that card last round so we didn't waste the two mana. Oh, come on, really? At least no ride negation right there. Get 
Let's go, Legion Marauders. Shatter. Man, this is a tough call. So I can, I can go for Lethal with Sharpened Resolve, but then maybe th then they Frostbite afterwards. I guess we just go for it, right? Otherwise, I could just let them go to one. But, like, I don't have any direct damage. Oh, you're actually at zero right now, so we're not going to enable you yet. I don't actually have any direct damage, do I? If we have them go to one. Like, Sivir's champion spell, I guess. All right, let's see what they got. Yep. But it forces them to play that instead of, like, they probably wanted to play a five-mana card here, like Talia or, you know, Draclorn Inquisitor, right? Like, they don't want to do that. Oh, I could have Hourglass instead of letting that get Entombed, I suppose. Hourglass also really works with for Scion's level up. I guess I, I didn't mention that whenever I was talking about the deck. Because, you know, like, you're going to be putting another... You know, putting, like, your 7 power thing back in play. And that's really good for the level up. Man, please don't be able to get that. If, th if they can get this, they get they have three promising futures on this. Yeah, they ha they got it. I guess that's just game, right? I guess if we lose, because that's 32 power overwhelm. How do we stop 32 overwhelm power? Oh, right, that thing's burst speed anyway. Yeah, GG's. So if I don't if I don't play the Preservarium, then we could play like strength in numbers. But that's still just like all of our stuff dying. Yeah, thralls can thralls can be crazy like that. Yeah, killing Lissandra didn't matter with the, the plus three plus two. Did, as we saw there, it didn't really matter. So we could see the power of our deck, though, how it was working out. But triple promising future is pretty rough. We could see wanting this bloody business again. Well, let's send it back. If I knew that we were going to be drawing Incisive Tactician, Incisive Tactician, I would definitely mulligan the strength and numbers. Wait, did they just not make the super cool star chart? Is that bugged? What happened here? That was a good double trouble. Two very good one drops. Oh, good call. All right, so my opponent says they have one. They have a super cool star chart, and that must mean they have a super cool star chart in hand. So it got the cost got reduced by one. That's a good call. All right, best draw in the deck right now is Sivir. Does that cost four mana? Because uh, you know I want to like use my four mana, keep my three spell mana for strength and numbers next round. Man, we have drawn poorly this game. That levels up Scion, I guess. Yeah, so they had a super cool star chart in hand. I was hoping that they would attack into my sandstone charger and let me enable a reputation. We could hourglass it, but I'm just gonna save the hourglass. That 
That's not good. Alright, this has been a pretty poor hand. We had a good round five. And not much else. At least the doggo's real comfy. <laughs> Laying up against the pillow. Doggo's super comfy. And a shovel. If you ain't hurt, you will be. Could get make it rained, I suppose. But I am scared of elusives. I don't want to just like sit here and take a lot of damage from elusives. Plus, I don't, you know, like this gets rid of a, a blocker for them. I think in every other game our deck's gonna look better. I think this was kind of obnoxious of having both insides of tacticians immediately. And then, you know, also signed. Like this was this was a terrible hand. I don't think our hands like I don't think our deck's gonna look this bad again. And obviously, that Crescent Strike was really troublesome. Okay. All right. So all their yeah. So now you know, like they're they're gonna have enough elusives to probably kill us. It's likely over, but we will be able to play Incisive Tactician next round. We will have eight mana, and we could rally and. I guess, you know, who knows. If they didn't have that that Crescent Strike stun card, and it and basically if we would be able to have Reputation enabled right now, then next round having six mana Tactician, and then two mana Black Rose by to copy Tactician, you know, that could be awesome. But unfortunately, with those stuns, we're going to be one five damage short of Reputation. Steel. So they didn't have like a perfect hand, you know, there was no Nami, but that round one Zoe did a lot of work. Level up good, but ours, the Crescent Strike, just wrecked. They should just attack for lethal. Our deck's going to look a lot better than that in every other game. Okay, so similar deck, but we got Lee Sin instead of Nami. Ugh. Man, but they could... Alright, Strength of Number is not as good here, I guess, because they could be a Deny deck. But let's just send it all back. Bloody Business could be something that we, like, we need for Lee Sin, but we would really like to curve out, and having, like, the card Sivir would be really nice. Do you think we could have the card Sivir? And could our opponent not have Zoe on round one? 
I guess we do not get Sivir ever. If I go Waking Sands, they go Eye of the Dragon. It does make all my other attacks kind of poor. I'll just swing in there. I'm probably going to be casting this Whisper Words next round. I kind of feel like. Another treasure seeker. Further, bingo. I need just a moment. Pass. No equinox. Pass. Pass. No equinox. Okay. So attacking for seven. Ready now. Face me. Not doing good for reputation. That right, could be useful. The spirit gives to those who listen. Gross. That was definitely not the card I wanted to see. Yeah, that's definitely not what we wanted to see. Draglings. They also pass. I was going to say, if they also pass, they would have 10 cards in hand. Okay. They could definitely still have a deny. Maybe they're waiting, holding that deny to protect Lee Sin. It's not like just because they didn't deny that doesn't mean they don't have one. Crescent Strikes. These Crescent Strikes have been killing us. So I wanted to... I was going to support one of these two ones and make it a 5-1 and so that we could have three 5 power things to turn on Reputation. That was my plan. You cannot win. Your lesson begins. So I could have also, you know, played a 5-2 here and attacked with a 5-2, but the problem with that is they could go Lee Sin afterwards. I'm, I kind of want to keep this bloody business available against Lee Sin, like if they spend 5 mana on Lee Sin right here. It's just so hard to kill Lee Sin with Bloody Business because of their ability to give it barrier. So, may as well just kind of keep, you know, start the reputation going. Get rid of that thing so they don't have Draglings. Maybe they don't have Lee Sin. You never know. Oh, it just drew it. That's the dragon wheel.
You have hourglass. Extend your senses. Yeah, I mean that thing's a four six anyway, so I think that made sense using the bloody business. So they did not give Lisa an overwhelm. So they still have two moon weapons, right? They gotta have like stun moon weapon, you'd think. Bye Nasher, have have a good day at work. I have nothing to do right now. I don't even like playing that card right here, but I just kind of have to to do something. To spend, you know, because I can only save three spell mana next round. I'm just not playing any of the other cards. Because they're going to stun stuff. We're going to what? Waking Sands? Waking Sands? And lights the way. If they go barrier, I don't think that counts as five. I don't really see the play. I don't see the play that wins. This will turn into the 5-4. The Sivir! You're a little late. But we actually saw a Sivir for the first time ever. I guess if I don't play anything, they can't challenge anything. It's unlikely they can hit me for 11, right? What once was really? Two, now is one. All right, never mind. I guess they can hit me for 11. So my best card versus deny. I always get my share. I know what I'm worth. Because the spell shield doesn't allow doesn't allow the the dragon's rage to happen. So then, then like the so Sivir just trades with Lee Sin, and we would take eight, but Lee Sin would be dead. Time is money. Prepare yourself. Our enemies cannot hide. Okay, so they're going for the barrier. Okay. So I have two options. Either kill Lee Sin, go to three, or kill this golden sister. Keep Lee Sin alive. I stay at seven, they don't gain life. I think we can do that. I think that's the play. Alternatively. This pay by the hour. Wait, what if I hourglass and bloody business like that? Okay, we still we go to three still. Cause then we take the four from Lee Sin. 
where we can keep Sivir alive. I don't expect them to just burn me out from three. I can do two with that, put me down to one. Let's get another Sivir. Alright, so they play two spells. So these have Spell Shield forever. They play two spells to give Lee Sin Barrier. We have no quarrel. I'm just I'm worried about stun cards, right? I'm really worried about stun cards. If I go Legion Marauder. They stun Legion Marauder. That's already they they got a free spell towards leveling up their Lee Sin. Now they have to like play multiple spells. Oh man, Deep Meditation is just the best. The man, and they get a stun card. Stun man, that, okay, well, this didn't work out well. No, I should I should play House Spider. I should get the multiple bodies because House Spider, the one one can drag the lease in. First let the blood, then stop the heart. I I played the this because then they're all lethal. I guess that's true because then the House Spider's not lethal. Man, yeah, having the stun cards. Business as usual. Alright, my best chance they don't have twin disciplines, nothing to protect Lee Sin. They can't get barrier again. Your attack is obvious. Okay, okay. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Or they just have another one. Conflict is up. It's a tough game. Leeson's really difficult to play against. Obviously, I'm not going to say that I I played every single I made every single decision perfectly in that game, and you know how it played out. I wish I would have done some different stuff at different thing different times, but. Leeson's just really hard to play against. It was a, yeah, it was a very good game. It was very close. They came out on top. Again, round one Zoe getting a very clutch present strike in there. Do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Our opponents have their their champions, you know, we had went round one Zoe, round one Zoe, now round two action. They're very good at having their champions. Can we have a round four Sivir one time? We only we only drew the one Sivir ever, and that was at, you know, like round 11, or whatever it was, that last game. No. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Yeah, it's all Zoe's and Lee Sims for us. Alright, so that's going to be a leveled up, a leveled up action. It is a great combo, action plus retreat return. That's a great combo. Fixing the world 
Good hand opponent. Jeez. It's the other problem with Noxus is that we have to spend three mana for Sharpened Resolve. It's the best option that we have. Where, you know, that, that one mana plus two plus one, that's, that's a lot better spending one instead of three mana. Why are people playing Lee Sin all, all of a sudden? Because it's very good against this really low interactive deck, so... We're getting some bad pairings here. Cool, I you like it? I mean, shut up and fight! What time is it? In and out. I think I just want to attack and, you know, like, have some interaction spells available instead of playing the Sivir. Uh, yeah, if we would have if we would have challenged the 3-3, three, three, they would not have had action block the Marauder. So, yeah, for as far as keeping the Marauder alive, that would have been our better option. It's kind of like the other day whenever we're playing the action decks, like... Action is is incredibly strong. Akshan. Especially for a two mana champion. If you have if this is what you have, Akshan, maybe a vagabond or two, and then just a bunch of protection for the Akshan. You're gonna be doing really well. I'm honestly surprised by that. I'm surprised they're letting it die. And saving five life instead. Three out of four. I'm surprised by that. Extend your senses. The dragon himself. All that glitters is mine. Conflict is all in the mind. All right, so we're going to level up Sivir. Kill that blocker. Now we'll have level up Sivir give each thing overwhelm and spell shield and quick attack. And then we'll be able to play a tactician. Act free of doubt. Which I guess we have to play this now. I guess we could play tactician next round. Okay, so we're able to get rid of the lease in. They can get another lease in back by using that, or they can just simply draw two. We're we each hold a not in a thing. perfect position yet. Okay, but it looks good that they didn't. Not showing another lease in right now. I don't need they have another one of those. Good from bad. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Uh. 
the table is set. Now we dine. Oh, that's rough. Walking is strange. Sonic Wave's great. Ouch, that hurts. Guess that's okay. You know, basically, do we want to save life by blocking with the Spiderling? Like, you know, do we want to go to 13? I don't know. Maybe maybe we should stay at 13. Oh, come now. Whoa. They don't take very much damage, obviously, but now we have a re-rally. You know how it is. All right, first time casting Scion. Go get him, Scion. We can make Scion even bigger. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Oh, we go this route. Ready yourself. Enemies cannot hide. Hey. Wait, they're passing? And they're just not casting the Sentinel Sword? What are they doing? Did I cast that card? My land, prepare yourself. They have to have like Nopify, right? Yeah, they had Nopify. That was that was that other card in, in hand. Wow, what a top deck. So there are two cards in hand were the Absolver and Nopify. They just drew the Concussive Palm. Wow. Sometimes you have some luck, sometimes you have none. I mean, it's hard to say that they played really well whenever they just could have had two extra cards and they just threw those away. For no reason. Like... Because that costs zero mana. Like, you still hold up Nopify. They got very bailed out by that draw. I think we're going to have to look for a f earlier curve. Those champions are awesome, you know, having action on round two is awesome, and then having, um... I know we're running into Avalanche, but I just hope they don't have it. Okay, no Avalanche. Now... Let's go and attack, we need the, the plus one plus one for them everywhere. Shield Bear is a good card, but I mean, it's... That's better for us than Avalanche. What is that? You know, they had four champions in the top half of their deck, which is, you know, it's, it's nice to have. All right, strength in numbers. We need some help, but now these don't die to Avalanche since I made that attack earlier. 
So that was that was an important part about making that attack. Okay, so I still don't have any landmark removal. But we do have some expensive cards in hand against Targon's Peak. So I want another slot because I'm going to want to play like Strength in Numbers. So I kind of want stuff to die. So I don't necessarily want to... Basically, I don't want to play Preservarium. That takes up a slot. Out of these six. I'm just casting this card because I'm not going to be casting it before attacking. Alright, so it gets rid of all those. I'm not playing that card before attacking anyway. Now we'll have room for strength in numbers. I kind of hope this works. Good. Got me five power for Zion. You should have run. Your favorite star. I created it. We're a long ways away from leveling up the Scion, but I guess we've let, Strength in Numbers will level up Scion by itself. Oh, wait! I have this thing. Too bad that has Spell Shield. But that would have been awesome if that, but unfortunately, that had Spell Shield. Good. We're nine away. I can't really get rid of that spell shield either. Oh, I guess I can't cast both of these, but I, I want to get that out of my hand, right? Because I don't want them to Targon's Peak it. So I want to get that out of my hand. Well, I wouldn't be able to play both those anyway, because, right, you can't play these with spell mana. Yeah, we finally found Sivir. <laughs> it took us our, our till our fifth game, but we finally found some Sivirs. First time having that card. Just play Scion, I guess. We'd see cool animation at least. This is the ground they die on. The 8 blocks the Sivir, the 3 3 blocks the Legion Marauder, so I'm trading those two. If I don't attack with Sivir, it's just an 8 5. I guess we don't really have to attack with Sivir.
Because if I like, they could still they could still make that block and kill my eight five even with the sever. So we just kind of be throwing away the sever. Because the quick attack would deal the damage first, it would kill theirs, but then it comes back fully healed, and then their 7 power then would kill my Legion Marauder. Yeah, that's a cool animation. Yep. Yep, that... That, uh... Descended... Descend... Or the Skies Descend? Yeah, that's the name of the card. Cool animation. Alright, so you win some, you lose some. We saw that. Going 5-0 oh, and then 0-5. Oh, Every opponent's deck looked great. You know, sometimes... They do, sometimes they don't. You know, like, they had awesome hands. You know, they had their Targon's Peak, got that, and then started getting lots of awesome cards to cost zero, including Aurelian Soul. And, uh, you know, that's how it goes. So. We had some rough matchups here. I would have liked to see us play against something a little bit more normal, but it was just all, like, Le you know, just a whole bunch of Leesons and Aurelian Souls and that kind of stuff. But lots of awesome, awesome hands from the opponent. Um, I think our... I would. I liked our, you know, whole Legion Marauder Sivir part of our deck. I mean, even though we hardly ever had Sivir, we didn't, we, you know, did a really poor job drawing that card. Um, but, you know, like, all that kind of stuff looked good. Scion didn't really look so good in this deck. We did struggle to level up Scion, and then even when we did have leveled up Scion, you know, wasn't really uh, interacting with the opponent enough. I mean, Sharpen Resolve also didn't look so great. Uh that plus three plus two i was hoping to do a little bit more but it just kind of traded with cheaper uh spells from our opponent i think if this was a uh, whirling death that would have helped us out a little bit more giving us some more interaction uh some more strikes so I, I think that maybe this this should be whirling death moving forward um how spider didn't look that good but that that's because we just played against you know big combo decks where these little small bodies didn't really matter we drew a lot of house spiders and Unfortunately, they didn't matter too much. Didn't really affect winning or losing. They kind of just took up board space. Uh, they would have been better as more glory seekers. Glory seekers were um, important for the matchups that we played. But that's, you know, just kind of the matches we played, right? We could have then again played against a bunch of Bandle City decks where you really don't want glory seeker because it's just going to get pokey sticked and they have just like tons of tutus everywhere where you, you want your house spiders and that kind of matchup. So it's just kind of matchup dependent, but the house spider is really underperformed. There we go. Those are just a couple of things about the deck. But um, I don't think it's, you know, sometimes you have an 05, an 05 deck that's that's bad. I don't think that necessarily this deck's bad. I think we had opponents that had good hands and they just had better hands than us and they just had better uh, finishers and some really powerful champions. You know, we had round one, round one Zoe a couple of times that were awesome with some with a whole bunch of Crescent Strikes. We had, uh, you know, round two action. We had some powerful Lee Sins. We had the Targon's Peak that obviously that's really powerful. You know, it's just th those kind of things. You know, our, our opponent's decks did exactly what they want to do. And we didn't necessarily have like what exactly, like our deck do exactly what it what we want to do with it in any of those, right? Like we hardly, I think, I don't know if we had, like, did we, we maybe had Sivir on round four one time, you know, for example. Um, you know, like kind of like best thing we could be doing is like Marauder on three, Sivir on four, Strength of Numbers on 5, you know, Tactician 6 or Kato 6, you know, like that kind of curve. We never had anything like that, but... Oh, well, that's how it goes, you know? You win some, you lose some. Um, good job, opponents. 
All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, go ahead and leave those comments. And let me know what you think of this version here of Sivir Scion, or if you have a different idea for combining Sivir and Scion together. Love to hear about that too, because you know, uh, you know, maybe that somebody wants to play those two champions together, um, and you have a different idea. Let us know. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.